All right, guys, today uh, I got a car over here. It's got a lot of scratches. It's black for you guys and lots of scratches. You guys are always mad that I'm playing on my white car. So I've got two new products here. I've got the McKee 37. This is Beast Compound. And we've got Finisher Polish. I thought, well, this car really needs a lot of work. And uh, we'll start playing on it, testing stuff out on it. And the guy lives two houses over, young dude trying to get his car all right. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna start with the hood today. I'm gonna do a waterless wash, clean it and get polishing on it. So stick with me. Let's check out these new compounds by McKees 37. Guys, this is the power of a waterless wash. You can see the line right there. There's a huge difference in dirt from this side and that side. It is nice and clean. I will just finish up this side now. All right, guys, I've got this car washed. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, clay it. Now I'm debating to have another kit too that does a spray clay and seal. Maybe I'll do that with the top of the car, but for now, this hood is just wrecked. I'm gonna show you that. Let me get out the new LC Power Tools light and show you what this looks like. All right, so as you walk over here, I don't know if you can see that right off the bat. <laughs> can you see that? Holy moly, I don't know what someone scrubbed this with here. But I mean, just with my lights in the garage, you can see that this thing is really, really bad. Let's put a uh, LC light on it. There, you can see that. That's that big mark right there. And the whole hood just kind of goes along with it. It's just Swirl City, you know. It's got some uh, clear coat chippage there maybe some cracking something there i'm not really gonna mess with any of that but as you get over to these areas you can definitely see there's been some some neglect some bad techniques of washing So as you can see, these are the things that happen when you wash your car with dirty rags, dirty towels, dirty wash media, you dry it with dirty stuff, it's dry and you're scratching on it or you're trying to get something out. I suppose that's what happened up there. Someone was really scrubbing something on it. it looks like a Brillo pad to me, but uh, let's get going here. All right guys, I've got the uh, DIY details. This is their clay towel, super cool. And I don't have any clay lube made up at the moment, so I'm just gonna use my waterless wash. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit here, spray some on my towel, and just start playing away. Should work good. The, the car actually doesn't feel, it's not making any noise, doesn't feel real rough. So, hey, that's a plus. All right guys, I've got, uh, this is the Flex XCE 818. So it's the 3401 cordless, all right? That's the, the beast, super beast, whatever. And uh, this is the cordless version. I'm using the McKees Redline system pads to start out with here we'll try these out this is the cutting pad this is the polishing pad i have them right here they are the mckees and uh we're gonna start with that we'll start with the beast compound and then we'll move on to the finisher 
The car has been washed and clayed for this part. I'll go ahead and tape off some section work and let's see if we can do some nice 50-50s. All right, on my pad, I sprayed a little product here to kind of soften, condition it there a little bit. And we'll start with the Beast Compound. some of the coating prep spray in this bottle here. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some on. This is the area I kind of worked a half section there as you can see. So I'm gonna spray some on. I just wanna see what this is doing. What this uh, product here is doing. This is the Beast Compound and with the machine over there, what kind of result I'm getting so I know uh, keep going or not. I haven't gone down here yet. Okay, so as expected, this looks, I mean, you're gonna have some deep ones. I'm not trying to get anything deep out of there, but I just wanna help him get some shine back in here. This is the top where it's really torched right across here. And, uh, you know, we'll take this tape line off and go over that area afterward even more. But I just want to make sure I'm getting some nice cut and uh, the look of it looks good. I mean, it looks really nice. We didn't get down here. As you can see, there's this starts to swirl again. But all up in right about this area, it clears up real, really nicely. We haven't done any polishing. I've just done a about three or four passes with this beast compound. It seems to work really, really good at this point. So super happy. I just want to bring you guys in and show you how this looks as I'm working. This is the uh, finisher polish here. And I'm just going over this area. All right, so this finisher polish, um, looks like it has a nice wet working type of area here. Everything is working real good. It's smooth and it just seems nice and, and lubricating as I'm polishing here. So let me finish that. Just giving you guys some thoughts on that. All right guys, so we've done a little bit of the compound, we've done a little polishing, we've used the polishing pad and the cutting pad over here. We've wiped it off with the prep spray. Let's take a look. I mean, I've probably been here about 10 minutes filming. So here it is. This is compounded and polished. Could be wiped a little better, but as you will see, everything is inside this box that I worked in. You see the lines there? So let's let's take a look outside here. You see all that? And then you get inside the box. Really, really nice. 
There's the lines again, all the swirls, cross over, looking good. Now this is the area up here. All right, so let's cross into here and this is where the tape was. And as you get in there, it really just cuts through that. I'm gonna hit that section next. Look at that, that's just ridiculous. I try not to really go over the tape too much. So looking pretty good there. That's just 10 minutes worth of work. This will take a little while. Let's see what we can do here. Let me try to get a nice picture of this uh, so I can get it before and after. All right, you guys, uh, I'm working with this and it's probably 70 degrees right now. It's early in the morning, it's, it's like 8.30, I don't know, 75 degrees. I'm working with this, I'm working with the cutting pad and I'm working on this area that's got those really scotch bright scratching patches on it. And I'm telling you, I'm working it for a while here, I probably did five, six passes back and forth, you know, cross hatching. I'm really working, working, working until I can see a little bit of the product starting to dry. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm very impressed with this product. It really went pretty far. And I'm trying to just really work these scratches here. Now I know they're getting better. They're not gonna completely come out. You know, I'll really have to go over this a few times, but I just wanna show you guys what's going on at this point. So as you can see, I've been working on this section. It's actually very little dusting. This is working the product till it's till it's dead over here, right? The pad is starting to get a little hot. And uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm pushing the, the limits of this thing. So let me spray some of this on here. All right, guys, you ready? So I did that little top piece, I compounded it, and then I did a little polishing and I wiped it off. I'm gonna show you, you guys ready? Take a seat for this, take a seat. All right, so you remember we did all this back down here, and then this part up here was where they had those big scratches. Now right here, I still have a couple left. But this is that whole area. Do you remember that? I'll try to put a uh, side by side on the video for you. But this was that whole area. Holy smokes, look at this thing. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. That's just going over at one time. I, I can do this again right here, but I'm just playing with these products, trying to see what they can do. And my gosh. So just so you guys have an idea, when I move it and get over into these areas over here, it'll you'll start seeing the, uh, there they are, see them? This hood is really, really, really bad. And then when you get back into my area, it's, it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And this part was the worst I've ever seen. You can still see them right here. So maybe I'll hit that a little bit more, but it, it was all over this. Wow. So, <laughs> I mean, super impressive beast mode. They got that right, beast mode compound from the, the new compound out of McKees 37. Wow, and then when you go over it with this finisher polish, it's got nice working time. You can feel it just taking out anything. 
and really giving it a refined look. So very, very happy. That's with foam pads. I didn't even get out any microfiber pads. A lot of people have looked at that and said, we need to wet sand it. Wet sand, we got the wet sand. No, no, take it easy. But that's just with some, some foam pads there, guys. That's the red line pad system over at McKee's Utilizes. They have a few different pad systems. I, li I like foam pad. And of course, you know, the machine on that one, the cordless beast right here. So it's amazing what you can do with some good tools, a little good technique, and some great products, guys. I'm gonna get going, try to finish half of this, leave the other half for something else. Awesome, I'm super, super happy about this. All right guys, pretty fun video today. Just trying out some new products, combos. You know, McKees came out with uh, their new Beast Mode compound and finisher polish. I said, I gotta try that out. And I went over to autoforge.net, picked up all this new product that they had there. Now everything on this table you can get at autoforge.net. I worked on a jet, I'm not sure the year, it's black. The kid, he's about two doors down. He's it's his first car, I think, and, you know, he's putting the window stickers on. He's got a little body kit on it. He's doing all this stuff to the red lights on the interior, but he's not taking care of the paint, you know. He's he's looking a little janky on the paint. So I said, you know, hey, I do videos. You got a perfect specimen for me. Let me get it over there and help you out there. Put on the red line pads. Just two pads, all right? These are foam pads. This is the cutting and this is the polishing pad. I use those two with the compound and with the polish. Paired them up with the Flex. This is the Cordless Beast. The model number is 818.0, all right? It is the 3401 cordless model. This is the new one, battery operated, very easy to hold. You know, even I was showing you some of the video, I was holding this with one hand, but of course you're gonna wanna use two hands on this, but fantastic tool. If you're gonna buy one machine, pick this up guys, pick this up. The compound just cut through everything. Fantastic, four or five passes, boom, boom, boom. Wipe it off. When I wiped it off, I used their coating prep spray Wiped it off, examined all my work with the LC Power Tools. This is their new light, it's fantastic. This is a black vehicle, it's just showing all the different little hologram swirls and scratches. Very, very nice product there. And uh, you know, check out that work, go over it with the polish. Just did about a third of the hood today to really see what I could do and if I get that really bad area out, I'm telling you guys, it's it's 98%, man. It is awesome. I didn't think it was gonna come out like that, but that beast and polish there, it really did something. So guys, I hope you liked the video. If you wanna look into some new polishes and compounds, you go over to autoforge.net, check out the beast compound and the finisher polish. I don't know, try some different pads. I just went with my normal foam I like foam, so I went with the foam. I went with the cutting and the polishing from the red line system. Super, super simple. Guys, fantastic results there. I'll be going over this car in the next few weeks, little by little with different products and playing with it. And I just really wanted to show you guys what the, the new McKees compound and polish did. Check out autoforge.net. You can find all this on there. Thanks for watching guys, hope you liked the video. Tell me anything you thought about or any questions in the comments below. Talk to you later.
All right, guys, here's a little bonus footage. Here's some of the pads I was using. You can see there's, this is the polishing pad. We've got the McKee's polishing pad cleaner here. So I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on there. Put it down for a second. Let's get the other cutting pad. You can see it has got some stuff on it. Let's go ahead and spray this one. I'll work it in. Look at that. Is that crazy? Super, super clean. Let's get this one. All right, we're gonna rinse it off and we're done. That is awesome, awesome stuff polishing pad cleaner. Some of the best I've ever used, the Key 37.